Welcome back to Darshan channel. Today we will be discussing what is an argument. So an argument refers strictly to a group of prepositions. So again we have discussed what prepositions are uh, of which one is claimed to follow from the other which are regarded as providing support for the truth of that one. So again preposition may we need two things first being the premise and the second one is the conclusion. So let's see the definition of premise and conclusion. So what is premise? So premise uh, in an argument the preposition that are claimed to provide grounds or reason for the conclusion. So jo reason provide karta hai, jo evidence provide karta hai conclusion ke liye, that is known as the premise. So uh, and the conclusion uh, in an argument the preposition to which the other preposition in the argument are claimed to give support or for which they are given as the reason. So that is the definition of conclusion. So in an argument, we need these two things, which is the premise and conclusion. So I'm, I've am i tried to show, uh, show this argument with the help of a um, chart as well. So we have premise, it can be one premise, it can be premises, it can be two, three, four, five premises. And on that basis, pe we get the conclusion. So premise is the claimed evidence and conclusion is what? It is claimed to follow from that particular evidence. Now let's see an, uh, an example is given here. Premise one is given, all humans are mortal. So that is the premise one. Premise two is Socrates is a human. So that is the premise two. And on the basis of that, we get the conclusion that is therefore Socrates is mortal. So therefore Socrates is mortal is the conclusion. And ye conclusion kaha se aya? on the basis of the premises, which is one and two. Now, uh, let's uh, see one more example. In some certain cases, we can have one premise and a conclusion. So no one was present when life first appeared on earth. Therefore, any statement about life's origin should be considered as theory, not fact. So again, in this particular case, therefore, ke baad jo statement aapka given hai, any statement about life's origin should be considered as a theory. That is the conclusion. And no one was present when life first appeared on earth. That is the uh, premise. So now how can we identify premises and conclusion? And so for that in I am copy there and in other text as well, there are indicators given. Indicators, so we have premise because in an argument we have two things, the premises and the conclusion. So, so for that we have premise indicator and conclusion indicator. So premise, let's start from premise indicator. So in an argument, a word or a phrase, so again, it can be just one word or it can be a phrase that normally signal, signal in a sense that indicates your point karta hai, that what follows it are statement serving as the premise. So that is the um, definition of the premise indicator. And let's see the definition of conclusion indicator. So again, conclusion indicator can be in a form of a word or in a form of a phrase where um, argument and indicating that what follows it is the conclusion of the argument. So, uske piche, uh, let's see the indicators which are given. Let's start uh, with the premise indicators. So, again, let's see premise indicators. Maybe we have since, we have because, for, follows from, in as much as, as indicated by. So, these are all the premise indicators which we have to keep in mind. So, again, let's suppose since ke baad, jo aapka statement aata hai, that will be your premise because it is indicated by the particular term and let's suppose conclusion indicator kya hoga so again therefore hence so accordingly in consequence so here in the previous statement mein, uh, previous examples may be the use of the conclusion indicators